solving trigonometric equation using identities. So right now, we are going to solve a trigonometric equation 3 cosine theta plus 3 equals 2 sine theta. So if you can see this, this is a square sine theta. And if you see a square, we can use the Pythagorean identity of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Since the left side is in plane cosine, so we can change the sine squared theta into a cosine form. So subtract cosine squared theta, both sides of the equation. So therefore, sine squared theta is equivalent to 1 minus cosine squared theta. So let's go back to our original equation, 3 cosine theta plus 3 equals 2, replacing sine squared theta with 1 minus cosine squared theta. So let's distribute. So 3 cosine theta plus 3 equals 2 minus 2 cosine squared theta. Now it turned into a quadratic form. So let's subtract 2 on one side of the equation and then add 2 cosine squared theta, both sides of the equation. So subtracting 2 and then we are adding 2 cosine squared theta. So we have a quadratic form of 2 cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine theta and then plus 1 equals 0. So in a quadratic form, let us now replace cosine by m. Any variable will do. Let m be equal to cosine theta. So we have 2. So we have 2m squared plus 3m plus 1 equals 0. So let us factor. So we have 2m and m plus 1 and plus 1. So let's replace m back by cosine. So 2 cosine theta plus 1. And then we have cosine theta plus 1 equals 0. So what does it mean? We can now pick the first factor. Subtract 1 both sides of the equation. 2 cosine theta equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. So cosine theta is negative 1 half. So what is theta that makes cosine negative 1 half? It will give you pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. On the other hand, let us now solve cosine theta plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 both sides of the equation. And what is theta that makes cosine negative 1? So it's pi. So therefore, our answer will be pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and then pi.